Hi here folks, Pete here from Ashton's Cars. Today I'm taking you around a 2014 Kia Venga. So this Kia is eight years old. It's the Venga 1, which is um, one of the more low spec Vengas, but you still get air conditioning, remote central locking and a metallic paint on it. So decent spec really for the, for the type of car it is. Um, 1.4 litre petrol engine in this one. Now Kias have built up a really good reputation for building very solid, very reliable cars. And this is certainly no exception. The Venga would have come new with a seven year manufacturer's warranty. So it's only just come out of that warranty period now. So really, oh, you can see the, how bright it is with the, uh, with the sun gleaming on it now. It's, it's a really smart looking car, this. The metallic paint looks the part on it. A couple of very light marks on the wheel arch there, which will actually come out with some T-cuts. So we're going to get that uh, T-cut out. We're not going to be painting it though, because we, it's all original as far as I can see this car. It's in very, very good condition in fairness to it. Good tyres all round as well. Yeah, I mean, although this has come out of its seven-year warranty now, it's one year outside of that, I think it really shows how much confidence Kia have got in their product. And hopefully that really goes to show you that you're buying a quality car when you get a used Kia. Um, I think of them very much like the old 90s Toyotas where they're unbreakable. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a Kia on the side of the road with his bonnet up. Uh, and that goes to say a lot for them. And it's the same for Hyundai, which is their sister company. So the Venga is kind of... I would say a medium sized hatchback. It's a little bit smaller than a Focus, but a little bit higher up as well. It's a, somewhere between a Ford Focus and a Vauxhall Mocha in terms of its dimensions. Um, with the high roof line though, you do get a very airy feeling interior space, which I'll show you in just a moment. And it's certainly got enough room for a small family in there in, uh, in excellent comfort. Uh, I'll show you the boot first on the car. This car's only just come into us now, but it's very, very clean and tidy. As you can see from the boot itself, um, split fold seats on it, which are like a 30-70 split. This is a nice level um, sort of drop off into the boot. It's also got a very wide opening as well. So ideal for those larger items. And just if your dog was getting in the back of this car, it would be nice and easy because there's no step into it. Uh, however, you can actually lower this boot floor uh, onto this lower level and that gives you an extra probably about an extra five or six inches actually of depth to the boot obviously you do lose the fact that you've got a level floor then but you do gain a hell of a lot of space or you can use that bottom bit as a as an extra storage space for your tools either way you have got a very accommodating boot in the venga and that's something that i very much like on this car take you through to the back of the car first because we'll jump in the front in a minute free inertia seat belts plenty of space Plenty of knee room in it and loads and loads of headroom because, of course, we have got this higher sort of design of the roof. It's quite a comfortable car. I mean, it's only electric windows in the front, so they're windy ones back here. But you still got a nice pull down armrest by here, which looks great. Um, it's got plenty of cubby space on it. It's got sort of decent sort of seat pockets in the back there. So there's a little bit of oddments room for your rear passengers as well as the front ones. Let's just close this door back up for you and show you into the front of the car. Now, I've actually used this car um, for, for a couple of days. I actually had a delivery to do when I used this car to do it and to, to pick my driver up with uh, when it came in. It was a great experience because I was on the motorway and I'm sat a bit higher in the Kia, uh, which I quite like doing. Uh, and it's a very comfortable driving position. So even after five or six hours in the car, I still felt quite fresh, which there's not many 1.4 litre cars I could say that of. It's nice and easy to get in and out of as well. You're in a position where you're literally at the right height just to slide into that seat um you're not having to step up into it you're not having to slide down into it that's ideal for people with mobility issues and people who are just generally lazy like myself um we've got air conditioning on the car uh five speed manual gearbox it hasn't got um sort of all the latest sort of car play and stuff like that you wouldn't expect it to uh, on a car of this sort of price range but you have got usb connectivity you've got an ipod connectivity as well and an aux socket down there so you can put your music from your phone through the stereo i've also got a little trip computer there which is quite handy it tells me how many miles i've got left in the tank and how many miles per gallon i'm doing and that by there is actually a magnet for my phone to stick on uh, if i so wish let's just start the car up quickly for you Lovely sort of backlit dials on this car. I think they do look nice. It's very clear instrumentation on the car. As you can see, the mileage is showing 97,000 miles currently. And 
not much more to tell you really other than the fact that everything's where it should be on the car the indicators are on the left wipers are on the right as they are in in a majority of cars these days it's quite straightforward and easy to use and i've got a few controls on here which just do the stereo stuff but um overall the car is just very very clean and tidy inside as it is outside seats look good on it carpets are good electric windows in the front they work as they should my, my remote door locking works my electric mirrors work the car is very very usable very drivable and having done 250 300 miles in this car myself uh, i can honestly tell you i was quite impressed with it i think these are just really good value so it's not a car that's designed to be exciting this is designed to be a car that's practical and does the job but if you're looking for a car that's practical and does the job, I don't think you can go much better than this. Economical little petrol engine as well. Just ideal, really, for modern, everyday living. So, if you're interested in it, give me a call. My number's 07932 873 646. This little key is going to come with a three months parts and labour guarantee. We're going to deliver it anywhere in the UK. Just give us a ring for a quote. And also, we're happy to take your old car in Part X, so give me a ring on that as well. I'll give you a good price. My number one more time is 07932 873 646. And what I should have said, of course, at the start of the video was please give us a like, share, subscribe to our channel for more content like this, more car buying advice and more cars available for you to buy. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a great day wherever you are. We'll see you soon.